Hey guys. Um, so I got my Mossery and I've unboxed everything, and, but I threw it all back in the bag. So I shot another video where I like unboxed it and everything like that. And then the video deleted itself, which was fun. So here's the new video. Everything's unboxed. <laughs> um, okay. So I bought the Mossery watercolor art kit. When I bought it, it was $151 Canadian plus shipping, which was another $30. At Canadian and then I got hit for duties and fees which is another $35 Canadian so I'm over $200 on this art box and I'm not happy with it but that's beside the point I will explain everything later um okay so first off you get a bag like this nice little canvas bag I'm probably just gonna use it as a travel toiletries bag because it it works for that um, or a laundry bag so you get uh, in the kit grab all of the things all of the things everything comes in like little pouches and stuff and it's very quaint um, so you get a pilot color erase color erase uh, pencil in blue and then you get light blue um, filler leads so that's kind of cool I think these retail for I think the pencil itself is three dollars and I know the leads are like five or something like that. You can get them on sale, but anyway, so it comes with that. It comes with a Faber-Castell kneaded eraser, um, masking fluid, which this stuff's really neat. I did use it in a painting. I think I will probably play with it a bit more. It's like a pen tip, so you can get nice thin lines and everything. You don't have to fuck up a brush, which is really cool. Um, a waterproof, actually, I don't know if the brush pen's waterproof or not. No, the brush pen is not waterproof this the Pentel point like fine liner this is waterproof this is just a really nice brush pen don't use it first and then put water on it because it'll run and bleed and that won't be fun so this stuff aside let's put everything over here uh you also get a water brush and uh, sorry a little white eraser the white erasers are actually way better for um erasing coal erase pencil uh FYI, uh, the kneaded erasers, well, I generally a very good eraser for charcoal and for um, graphite. They're not really that great for coal erase. You can lift it a little bit, but it ain't that great. And then a water refillable water brush. I'm going to throw ink in this one because I honestly don't like using these. I can never get the water to be um, consistent and I it, it no. So I'm going to throw a couple drops of ink in this and then use it for ink wash for paintings or pictures <sighs> things 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 so there's those then there's the paint got a nice great big tube of gouache this is Holbein paint um, yeah so white gouache and then they sent the watercolor tubes I was actually super disappointed with and I will tell you why in a second the size of them look how tiny these are like <laughs> I mean, I was figuring they were going to be about that big, so they're very, very tiny. They're like five mils opposed to, where's the mils on this thing? Eight mil. So it's like, it's a little difference, but you know, when you're spending a lot of money on a box, you kind of want like a little bit bigger paint. Um, I think the gouache is larger. Don't quote me on that. I don't actually know. I didn't get the gouache kit because I can't paint with gouache to save my fucking life. Um, so with that, you got this little pan palette and I have used it. I'll show you the illustration I did. Um, so magnetic little pans and stuff. I like this. This is neat uh, with the magnets on the bottom so that they don't fall out because that tends to happen. I think I might take some of my other um, little watercolor pan kits like my Prima ones that like to pop sometimes and just put magnets on the bottom of them. So this is a really cute little thing and I can fill this up with a bunch of different colors uh, and different paints and I have lots of paint tubes so I'll do that. I'll probably put my Sakura um, Koi tube watercolors in there. And then I've got this is a prompt game it gives you a verb a noun card a verb card an adjective card and you can do like illustrations based on these and you can like if it's like inspiration I guess but you can also do like a drawing game like one person like makes the challenge and then a couple people draw uh, 
fun, I guess. Mm -hmm. But it's good for, you know, if you're like really struggling for inspiration or like warm up drawings, you can do that. It came with washi tape as well, which is, washi tape is fantastic for masking off. I know a lot of people, other watercolor artists use washi tape, but like seriously, I used to use the green painter's tape, but I was finding it was actually ripping my paper a lot more and I was destroying my illustrations after I'd spent so long on them, so that sucked. But the washi tape's actually really good. I use dollar store stuff, but this is the stuff I got from, yeah, here. I got some stuff from Michaels and I got some like dollar store ones. The vibrant ones are dollar store and they actually work really well, except for they didn't really hold very well on the paper in the monster sketchbook. I don't know why. Um, the Monster Sketchbook apparently is 100% cotton, so this is the book I got. Ooh, so pretty. It came with a swatch card, which I never used because I forgot I had it. An inspiration card with a coupon code on the back, and um, basically just all prompts and stuff to help fill out the front of the book. So. It if you've seen a Mossery sketchbook review, you've seen the first few pages, you know, like it's what's your inspiration and artists you like and books you want to read and all that kind of stuff, which is a great way to keep track of it, don't get me wrong. I didn't realize this, the sketchbook is actually an insert and then this is just a cover. So you can get new inserts and insert them and then you just have your main cover, which I thought was pretty cool. That's neat. And then you can use the front and back pocket. So the illustration I did, it was, I think the words I got were spider, clouds, and box. I chose three nouns. Um, rolling, jumping, and lazy. So lazy clouds jumping with a spider trying to deliver a gift. This is totally not an illustration that I would normally do. It was just based off of the prompts. And I was trying to get used to the watercolors. So I was like, okay, yeah, this is interesting. And I used some of the masking fluid in areas to like see how it worked. I did like it, but overall I'm pretty much meh on the whole shit and shebang and then I did this is more to my style of illustration and I hated painting on this I used um my praying 16 semi moist this cheap ass bastard set um but it's still good watercolors but it just I'm not used to the paper so I'm having issues with this so I'm kind of on the fence. I'm going to do more paintings and see if I can get used to the paper because it was the same with the Arteza sketchbook when I first used it. I did not like the paper, but I'm getting over it. Um, so right now I'm kind of like meh about the whole Mossery deal. Uh, do I think it was worth $200 after shipping? Absolutely fucking not. So, and that was the 150 was the box on sale. So do I think it's worth it to buy the art kits? Absolutely not. You can find these supplies online because here, I'll bring these all in here. You can find all of the art supplies, comparable paint in bigger tubes, um, and a cheap little mellow palette for way under um, like the $200. You can probably get a lot of this stuff from your basic art store or on Amazon and you will save a lot more money and you'll get free shipping. So the watercolor sketchbook for the aesthetic, I don't give a shit. I'm not an aesthetic person. We know this. I'm pretty much cut and dry about a lot of things. So overall, I think I have everything. The only thing that like really this you can do this online there are prompt generators that you can use um the cards are kind of neat but i don't know what the fuck i'm going to use them for so i think i might like give this to maybe i'll give it to like a drawing group with kids like i think this would be like a really cool thing to do with like my nephews but they are all babies at this point and they don't draw so who knows but i i think i'll re-give this to a kid Actually, my sister-in-law has a lot of nieces and nephews. Maybe they will enjoy it. So there's that. Um, yeah, so this is everything. I think the hardest thing that you would be able to find is maybe that. The Holbein artist. Oh, it's Holbein again. So I'll have to price out the Holbein paint themselves for the five mil tubes. But I'll do that and maybe do a little review afterwards. But like... 
not worth it. <laughs> Hashtag not worth it. So this is the watercolor sketchbook and I will do some more paintings and you'll probably see me paint some more in it because I spent a lot of money on this and I am going to finish it. So there's that. But I just wanted you guys to like, maybe, you know, I've got the money to spend on this shit and I'm like, and I'm like super cheap with my art supplies, man. Like my favorite paint palette is a Prang. And my other favorite paint palette, I spent $80 on it. And it's my uh, Yarka St. Petersburg one, or Yarka St. Petersburg one. And that set I've had for over a decade. So it's, <laughs> you really gotta just watch these niche things and there's a lot of art kits coming out and you see a lot of artists that are getting these things because the companies are giving it to them as somebody who had to buy it on their own I don't think it's worth it if you get it given to you great use it but like seriously you can get better quality stuff and better um, more cost-effective stuff uh, from different different companies so um, like the Arteza watercolor sketchbooks while being slightly like you can't erase a lot on them That's actually a decent sketchbook like I can't show you any of the art that's in this sketchbook sadly but these sketchbooks they're nice and big and there's like quite a lot of um, Pages I'm painting on every like side of the page, but even though the paint the page is slightly warped they're not as bad as I found the Mossery was I don't know if it's just because of the size or what but you can get a two set of these for $30 that's $15 a sketchbook for watercolor sketchbook that's really good um, I also got from Arteza this sketchbook and I got three of these yeah I can show you these ones and I actually really like and this is actually comparable to the Mossery but you'll see that the double checking not my OC um, <laughs> but you'll see like the paper doesn't warp and I can paint on the back of this paper just fine so it's quite um, these sketchbooks are great they're not as pretty as the $15 ones but like you get a set of three of them and you like this is a good little practice watercolor sketchbook and I think it was like 30 bucks for three so that's ten dollars and like it's good watercolor paper so that is a really better cost-effective way and you can like make a little slip like this thing and put it over it to make it pretty if you wanted so again not great on the mastery there's other comparable stuff that you can buy um, I am not sponsored by anybody so I can say these things without getting in shit <laughs> but anyways uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope it has been informative and I will chatter at you guys later bye